Hi everybody, this is Harry from Purple Jam. I hope you had a great winter break and new year, however you spent it. Um, and hopefully you got to see your families defi- despite the current world situation. Um, we thought it'd be a good start to the year by giving everyone a progress report on our upcoming game Pitch Black, A Disc Light Story, Episode 1. Um, so... After listening to all the feedback from A Detective's Demise, we've had a significant redesign of A Disc Light Story. It's clear that complex mechanics are what audio gamers want, on top of quality 3D audio, sound design, voice acting, and narrative, which um, I believe we've already delivered so far in our previous releases. It's also clear that a lot of audio gamers want complex combat mechanics in games, You've heard us discuss this previously and we've been working on it. However, we don't want players to have to fight if they don't wish to, and we want that decision to be meaningful um, in that it will adjust their experience of the rest of the game. That means stealth mechanics are required to move past enemies rather than fighting. That means the persons of interest you hear vary depending on whether you choose to be a violent character or a peaceful, peaceful one. That means the ambience in the world shifts depending on how you play to reflect that. That changes the way the levels are designed and so on. Um, Moreover, the detective's dialogue in A Detective's Demise was something of a highlight for many. It was pretty funny and a lot of the streamers seemed to enjoy it as well. And the fact that he voices the menus as well as being the main character in the game, um, talking about his surroundings and to other characters... Uh, He added a lot of cohesion across the whole experience. We want to carry this over to a disc-like story, which means the main character is now voiced. This changes the game dialogue, um, the cutscenes, and the overall narrative, uh, because it puts more of an emphasis on the character the player plays. And all this needs to be integrated in a cohesive design um, that fits with our current audio mechanics or builds upon them and so needless to say these changes are pretty substantial from a design perspective from a technical development perspective we've decided to make the move from unity which is what we've been using previously to the unreal engine and that requires converting our current code base code base to c++ from c sharp Um, This for a number of reasons, if you're a little bit experienced in game dev, you probably know most of them, but um, Unreal Engine is closer to the industry standard, uh, if there was one for engines. Many AAA companies use their own engines, um, many indies do as well. Um, Some choose to use Unity, some choose to use a modified version of Unreal, some choose to use basic Unreal. Um, The reason we're moving over is because C++, um, which Unreal is coding, is the industry standard language. Um, The reason being is that games are pretty intensive on the hardware they run on. Um, They tend to push the development of hardware. um, And and so you need a language that can facilitate more precise memory management, um, more precise computation management, um, and we had issues with the detector's demise running on older devices. Um, we, we'd, we'd like to ensure, and that, and that was a much smaller game than the Dusklight story is going to be. So we want to ensure that our games are optimized to the fullest extent so that everyone can play them, essentially, and it's just a better experience. Um, we're also moving to the FMOD core API for our audio system with um, somewhat of a custom implementation rather than using the studio, FMOD Studio. This is to remove any overhead from using Unity's built-in audio mixer um, and allow us to have more direct control of the audio, including utilizing our own dynamic libraries and plugins, eventually leading to a suite of Purple Jam's own cross-platform audio tools. Now, as you can imagine, all of these changes to game design and technical retooling add significant time to the development process. This isn't something we do likely, especially considering our Kickstarter backers have been waiting a long time. 
Um, but the goal here has always been to make the best possible audio game, an audio game so compelling that they bring the genre, that it brings the genre closer to the mainstream and inspires other devs to make their own games, um, make their own audio games. These changes will mean that a disc like story will be the best it can be, which in the long term, we're sure our backers would prefer. Um, so, our new proposed release time for Pitch Back A Disc Like Story Episode 1 will be in the summer of 2021, so this year. Thanks very much for listening. Um, I can't wait to update you further uh, as the, the development of the game progresses and continues to progress. Um, it's certainly very exciting, redesigning, retooling. Um, and I just think, well, we, we all just think the end result is going to be so, so much better for it. Thanks very much. Mm-hmm.